Hey guys, this is Tevin McDonald. How's it going? This is Damian Holmes. Uh, we're here on our off day out here in San Bernardino. Not sure what coach has planned, but uh, you know we got to do it anyways, so we're excited. Yeah, it really doesn't matter. Um, you know, we could be going out here in these these mountains here behind us. Um, you know, some type of run. He told us to have a full jug of water, so you know. And then hopefully uh, the trainers have a first aid kit, because I'm pretty sure uh, on Wikipedia it said the mountain lions are rampant in this area. So hopefully, uh, you know, we shoot our hands inside and, uh, you know, we, we tackle, you know, low. And, uh, you know, when you look at this hill right here, you know, you say, okay, damn, to get to that observatory, boy, that'd be tough, wouldn't it? It'd be tough. That'd be, that looks tough, right? Okay. But that ain't nothing, man. To get to that next stop up there, that'd be a hell of an accomplishment. We're going to team up on these ropes here, okay? And I got, I got the teams right here, and it's random, so it's going to be big guys. We're smaller guys, okay? So this thing is called the observatory. When we, hey, when we get to the observatory, there's some water, okay? So I'll allow you to stop at the observatory if you need to fill up your water bottle, okay? Then we're going up the side of that hill, and that's single track, and up at the top up there, there's like a weather beacon. Come on, Will, hop on. We're going to the pool. We're going to the pool. We're going to the pool. Okay, so originally we were thought we thought we were gonna go up the mountains, uh, you know, probably wrestle with some rattlesnakes, uh, probably get bit, probably eventually go to the hospital. Um, and Tevin, you know, tell them what we did. You know, we took a little. Coach told us the gate was closed. So we had to take a new little route. You know, we came to this little secret passageway over here, found our way at this pool right here, and uh, spaceship. I'm here with Coach Moore poolside. You know, he just pulled a little, um, you know, trick on us. I guess we were we were supposed to be going on a on a hike, you know, up here in the mountains and here out here in San Bernardino. But it turns out, you know, we had a nice team team bonding activity day by the pool. What was your thoughts behind that, Coach? Well, Tevin, initially we were going to take a nice hike up into the wilderness up there and uh, see some snakes, some scorpions, some tarantulas carry the ropes up the hill but you know you guys have worked so hard and your attitude has been so great and the focus has been just intense and I've just loved everything you guys have done for seven practices and I thought it'd be more fun for us to come over here get in the pool have some relay races some chicken fights we had a belly flop contest some guys showing off their diving skills and just a chance to you know once again get around each other and, and get to know each other better. Uh we had some relay races and you got a chance to show off, you know, a little speed in the pool there. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Manfred whooped me. The white mamba. The white mamba took it to me twice. And then behind us, you know, we got Dayton right here in his Speedo. He's about to do one of his better about dives. To do... Dayton is a heck of a diver. Yep, that's here, Dayton. Here, here we go. Dayton Jones diving off the pool. I, I was really impressed with Dayton. I was uh, really impressed with Oa. For 275 pounders, those guys being able to pull off the, the gainers. Uh, Eric Kendricks, I think, though, is probably our most valuable diver. Definitely. And then I think that Connor McDermott was definitely the most fluid swimmer. I'm not sure that he could he could uh, compete with Michael Phelps right now, but he's a pretty fluid swimmer. And I didn't I didn't see you up there, did you? I, I got in some of the relay races and and you know showed off a little skill, you know, some speed in the pool, but. Not really up on the high dive too much. So how, I'm going to take over but, the interview for a minute. Can I take over the interview for a minute? Let me, let's ask Tevin. So how's camp going for you so far? Camp is going real well. Um, you know, just enjoying, you know, being away from, you know, all the distractions with, you know, that comes with being in Westwood and just getting a chance to just focus on ball with my teammates. And it's been fun so far. You know, one of the things I thought would be great about coming up here would be just a chance for guys to get to know each other a little bit better. You know, sometimes you break out into groups and the defensive backs always hang together and the offensive line always hangs together. Mm -hmm. When you get in an environment like this, what I've seen is a lot of guys uh, walking around with different people. Have you mm -hmm. found that to be true? Yeah, um, you know, just from, you know, when you're going to eat at lunch, maybe, you know, just because the environment, you might want to sit with a guy who maybe you normally haven't sit next to or, you know, just meet somebody who, who who's on, a, on the opposite position or, you know, playing the different side of the ball. And it's just good to, you know, we're just to you know get a chance to get close with somebody else and, and really get to know your teammates. You know, we've had a great day today at the pool. You know, back to the grind tomorrow, back at practice, you know, getting ready for the season. For Damian Holmes and Tevin McDonald, 
here at ucabruins.com.